Imagine a building material that is rot resistant, fire resistant, non toxic, insulates comparably with mineral wool, and can be used to create carbon negative buildings. In addition to this, it can support local plant life. Sounds amazing, right? It's called eelgrass and is a type of seagrass. How did you come up with this project? So it all started um, when I saw several projects, uh, one being uh, uh, the Modern Seaweed House by Van Kunsten. And I came up with an idea that perhaps you could combine traditional seaweed thatching with prefabrication to create a panel that could be used on roof on facade. In Denmark, this material was used on an island called Lesu to thatch roofs from the Middle Ages. However, this thatching method was almost lost because of a global wasting disease. And now eelgrass is seen as waste. So what I hope to accomplish is I hope to show the world that you can build with eelgrass and you can build with this incredibly valuable material that is now seen as waste. I was inspired from history to build with my community. On Lesu, all the villagers came together to build a seaweed roof. And my community was Kia. My BIM expert Monica and my construction professionals Andres and James were all my classmates from my time at Kia. Gabriel, who created the frames of the panels, is a current student. The idea of a pavilion came about because people are really uncomfortable about seaweed as a building material. There's a lot of prejudice. I get comments like, doesn't it smell? Or does it rot? And the answer to both of those is no. But what better way to convince people than to give them that sensory experience and ask them to have a seat underneath it? We used to use this material a lot in buildings around the world and we've since stopped because we've lost a lot of this knowledge, but this was a fantastic insulation material and something that we can use to this day. This installation in particular is a way to test the second generation of seaweed panels that I have developed based on the traditional thatching method from the island of Lesu. I believe the future of the industry will actually be of renovation, and panels like these could be installed on facades or roofs to help them thermally insulate. If we are going to continue to build new buildings in the present, then we need to change the way we are designing them right now so that they're circular. This is why the pavilion is designed so that all materials can be disassembled, separated, and reused. As we try to build more sustainably, we are engineering new materials and methods, but we are neglecting to look right under our noses for what the best solutions may actually be. Historically, we were forced to use local materials and find creative solutions to work with them. I think logically, this means we should be looking closer at our own vernacular architecture and learn from our past to create a better future. This was how I designed my solution of seaweed thatch panels, which, as you can see, can be installed really quickly and easily on a structure. As a designer, I'm inspired by the past, but that doesn't mean we should blindly copy it. I think there's room for improvement and innovation here, and that's primarily what I'm trying to show through my work. I want to give a huge thanks to my entire build team. I thatched 15 of these panels with uh, Monica Yakatita. The frames were developed by my student assistant, Gabriel Pantoja, and the entire Installation was built by my build team of James Birkenshaw and uh, Andres Mokolos. 
So without them, this would not be possible. You're supposed to shoot it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now choke it, choke it, choke it. All right, you want to drink it? it.